Games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of the top 10 Switch games update is The Binding of Isaac After Birth Plus. Taking its roots from Edmund and Florian's Flash experiments in 2011, Isaac has come a long way since its basement explorer days. Undergoing a rapid rebirth of the PC and almost all of today's major consoles, Isaac has found a new home in the recent Nintendo Switch. Unluckily for him, his demons will haunt him there too. A punishing roguelike experience, play as the lonely Isaac as he tries to escape from the clutches of his delusional mother. He makes way out of her reach through the endlessly treacherous halls of his basement. Face off against a horde of nightmarish monsters and use your cowardly tears to eliminate your foes. Much like any roguelike or roguelike games, traverse through the infinite terrors of the randomly generated levels and the challenging curse of permadeath. This expansion carries even more sinister surprises with 6,000 new rooms, 500 different items to choose from, and 50 basement beasts to defeat. Meet new monsters, encounter deadly bosses, and fight to live another day. It has a play score of an 8.13. Coming in at number 9 is Fate Extella the Umbral Star. This is the third installment of one of Marvelous's many well-known series. Making its premiere on the Sony PlayStation Vita, the Servant action takes another step up with its recent move to the newest Nintendo console. This Warriors-type action game is set after the events of the legendary Holy Grail War. Take up the mantle of Master once again in their newest escapade. This time, their victory in the war has granted them power over a wish-granting computer and the servants of their former enemy. With another man threatening to control them, prove you're the better master and fight with them against a multitude of foes. The game has over 16 playable characters to choose from, all of them divided over 8 different classes. Explore each of their unique fighting styles and use your swords, magic, and violence against the malevolent foes that come before you. Or you could use their powerful transformations to instill fear among your enemies. Packed with the same fast-paced combat, beautiful visuals, and lovable cast of characters, it's the Musou game that we have all come to expect. While it falls prey to the genre's lack of variety, it's still as addicting as ever. It has a play score of an 8.16. Eighth on our list is ARMS. Nintendo has always had an affinity for oddball ideas, and then making them work in an epic way. It's this kind of creativity that made them so popular in the first place. A plumber collecting coins and battling evil turtles? Check. A puzzle-solving warrior who dives into dungeons and destroys pots? Check. What about a fighting game involving lovable characters and extendable arms? You've got it. Their most recent IP does a two-fold justice to the company, not only showcasing their inherent creativity, but also the unfettered power of their newest console. With your Joy-Cons or a few extra pairs, gather up to four of your friends for some knockout split-screen fun. This game will have you throwing literal punches across the battlefield in two different ways. Take your built-in Joy-Con pair and use their motion controls to punch enemies with your own two hands, or share them with a buddy of yours to swing jabs in the traditional controller method. That way, with just an extra pair, you can maximize your Switch's multiplayer capabilities. There's a handful of cool characters you can try on with a bunch of cooler arms to tinker with for every battle. Mix and match their extendable appendages and find the best combination to bring your opponents down. It's a weird but creative take on the fighting genre that only Nintendo can ever pull off. Go play yourself another match with a play score of an 8.19. Seven spot goes to Fast RMX. An unexpected gift came for the fans of F-Zero, care of the folks at Shinen Media. For anyone who's been helplessly waiting for years, this futuristic pod racing game has everything you want in an F-Zero game and more. Offering to fill that void in your hearts, this is an expanded version of the Wii U's Fast Racing Neo. This RMX edition includes all the tracks and DLCs of the original game, with 6 new additions for a total of 30 tracks overall. It brings the high-octane speeds of its predecessor to the Switch, letting you indulge in their whiplash-inducing modes, beautifully rendered vehicles, and overall exhilarating gameplay. Putting aside the F-Zero similarities, RMX has a little feature that differentiates it from the rest and gives it a new layer of depth. Speed past tracks and collect orbs to make use of color-coded boost strips littered around its stages. The game also received a much-needed graphical makeover with its jump to the Switch. Enjoy their collection of stunning landscapes with their 1080p resolutions in 60 frames per second. 
Despite the positive reviews, it has only seen some criticism because of its reported lacking online multiplayer that pits you against strangers with no option to play with friends. The developers, however, are assuring that a patch is coming up to improve it along with an additional time attack mode. With its competitive split-screen and brutal hero mode challenges, you don't have to look any further for that racing fix. It has a play score of an 8.3. Sixth on the list is Snipper Clips Cut It Out Together. One of Switch's most beloved exclusives, Snipper Clips is a cut above the rest with its unique puzzle mechanics that fits the social gaming vision of the portable console. Play as Snip and Clip and prove that two heads, or four, are better than one as you solve a variety of paper craft riddles. While creativity is the key for most puzzle games, the game takes that to a whole new level, giving you the freedom to cut through each other however you please. Overlap two areas and snip away till you get your desired shapes. Pop some balloons, carry objects, and catch a few fireflies while you're at it. Other than its main world, it also offers a party mode that lets you work on puzzles together with up to four people, while blitz mode offers a more competitive atmosphere, shooting hoops in basketball and scoring goals in hockey. Snipper Clips doesn't exactly show off the power of the console, but it's one of the most unique and original games yet. With its vibrant colors, charming worlds, and an adorable cast of characters, it does a good job of engaging children and adults alike. While not as expensive as other games in the Switch's lineup, it has been panned for relative lack of content. You might be surprised to see you can complete their main puzzles in as much as 3 hours with no rewards and extra content for replays. Be that as it may, it's still a fantastically delightful and satisfyingly puzzling game. It has a play score of an 8.36. At number 5 is Splatoon 2. With the jaw-dropping success of their original game on the Wii U, it's no surprise that the Switch has geared us up for a revival of a modern classic. The battle between Inkling vs. Inkling continues on as splatters of colored blots fill up your entire screen. Making a splash on the hybrid console, the game offers a host of new features to enhance the ink splatting misadventures. Enjoy a double dose of excitement with a dual splat option or level up your skills with your powerful abilities and power-ups. But that's not all that's changed in Inkopolis. Set two years after their first game, the Squids have also come back with a collection of new weapons and gears and a sweet fashion makeover. Return to their trademark tough turf wars and shoot it out in a grueling 4v4 that's oozing with color and chaos. Take a splat with your ink-filled artillery and choose from its wide variety of memorable characters. This time though, the territorial feud goes to school. Brothers and friendships will be tested and families will be torn apart. You also have a taste of a more personalized shooting experience with their improved motion controls. Decimate the opposition with your improved Joy-Con aim and watch them drown in the hues of courage and vengeance. It also offers a new mode called Salmon Run that lets you team up with your friends to survive an onslaught of Salmonids. There's a whole lot of things to love about the newest Splatoon and we'll talk about it in more detail with our latest gameplay linked below. It has a play score of an 8.4. Number 4 on our list is Puyo Puyo Tetris. An unlikely combination of two iconic arcade games, Sega's Puyo Puyo teams up with the ever-popular Tetris to create another fast-paced couch multiplayer for the Switch. This game is for anyone who needs a two-fold nostalgic treatment or a light and colorful challenge. Go on arcade sprees by yourself in its single-player adventure mode or drop blocks and blobs with friends in a variety of multiplayer game modes. Go 1v1 in the intense versus mode where you pile up combos and Tetris lines to send an enormous garbage to their way. Or you can tackle the arcade switching swap mode that makes you play both Puyo and Tetris at the same time. Or even the hybrid fusion challenge or the lightning fast big bang mode for some next level competition. Check in on your ranks in the online leaderboards and beat thousands of other players in this hearty battle of bubbles and lines. Even with this game's simplicity, the variety of game modes ensures it a high level of replayability for you and your friends to enjoy. With both online, local, and solo gameplays covered, it's a worthy addition to anyone's collection. The game's weird mixture kind of worked, and there's no denying that. It has a play score of an 8.4. Lucky number 3 goes to Disgaea 5 Complete. 
With Nintendo Switch finally giving us a way to play console-quality games on the go, Nipponichi Software took their sixth This Gaia title to the portable hemisphere. Since its release on the PS4 in 2015, it has proven itself worthy of the attention as an addicting and silly strategy RPG. Now, with the port to the Switch, you'll be able to enjoy its tactical depth as well as its laugh wherever you go. Combining all their DLC releases into one definitive package, this complete edition includes all eight bonus scenarios, three character classes, and the four additional fan favorites. If you're not familiar with the series, it follows the tale of Kilia, a demon out in a quest for vengeance against the Netherworld Emperor Void Dark. Fighting against the Void Dark's army of one million, the Overworld Lords have come together. And it's given life and personality by its outstanding voice actors. Despite its complex and dark themes, it maintains a cool and humorous atmosphere complete with clever dialogue and banter. It's one of the things that made the series popular in the first place. While it wasn't much to look at on the PS4, it seems as though Disgaea has made quite a graphical improvement with its move to the Switch. With the PS4's 180p visuals, Disgaea 5 rendering looked drab and almost outdated. But running in its native 720p on the Switch's portable mode, it received an instantaneous pop of color and sharpness. Reunite with your favorite lords and relive the joys of this wacky strategy. It has a play score of an 8.43. We're down to our number 2 with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe! The most adorable racing game has made a mad dash to Nintendo's newest platform to bring their own brand of unmitigated fun and disaster. While it might be a little disappointing not to have a whole new title for the Switch, it looks like this beautiful remaster has been a productive one at least. The most renowned Mario Kart to date brings in more surprises in the form of new features, characters, and improved battle modes. Unlike the Wii U original, players can now hold on to two items at once for twice as much high-speed chaos. And that is just the beginning. Other than the standard 1080p resolution upgrade that's expected of all the games, it also has a new smart steering feature, making handling much easier for beginners and veteran racers alike. Ride along new obstacle courses like Urchin Underpass and Battle Stadium, along with new appearances from King Boo, Dry Bones, The Inklings, and so much more. Originally criticized for the boring online battle mode, this deluxe packs huge changes to the mode, giving it a whole new lease on life. With 5 new game modes and 8 custom arenas, there's plenty more room to balloon bomb your friends for hours on end. So grab your nifty Joy-Cons and set the pedal to the metal. It has a play score of a 9.13. And the number one Nintendo Switch game so far is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As if anything could rival the sheer majesty of Nintendo's latest Legend of Zelda title. Five months after the Switch's launch and after its breathtaking debut, Breath of the Wild remains the primary game for the console. While it might be a good thing that the Breath of the Wild, with its maddening perfection, has outclassed every release since its premiere, it might also be a cause for concern. However you take it, it's obvious that this game is an absolute delight. Almost a year of waiting and it did not disappoint at all. Travel to the lush greens of the post-apocalyptic Hyrule, where bound by destiny, Link wakes up to find kings, queens, champions, and kingdoms have fallen. Follow him as he fulfills the prophecies once more to stop the evils of Calamity Ganon. In the first ever Zelda game to offer an open-ended experience, roam around its vast open world in a quest for discovery and answers. Do whatever you want whenever you want, but don't expect it to be another cakewalk. With magnets, time stoppers, bombs, and much more, creativity is definitely a plus. Experiment with each of their effects and use them to solve puzzles in new, unexpected ways. Widely acclaimed across rating platforms and review sites, Breath of the Wild has been pegged as the year's game of the year, and there's no denying that possibility. Thanks to their open-ended gameplay, innovative mechanics, and beautiful environments, it has been a breakthrough for the modern video game industry. Now, with new DLCs coming up for the game, it looks like the adventure has just begun. It has a play score of a 9.32.